Hi guys, Hugh here from Square Labs. If you've used Zoho Serum, you've often come across a system-defined field, and you've often realized that you can't rename those fields. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna show you how you can change the names of those inside your system using the translation settings. In this lead here, um, in the address, we've got zip code. Now, in Australia, we like postcodes, so what I wanna do is rename this field, but when I go to do that in the settings, I say this field cannot be modified. Now, that's slightly annoying, because, especially because zip code is not uniform across the entire solution. So, we have here mailing zip, and then we've got billing code. So, what I'm gonna do is show you how you can update this and make it uniform across your entire system. Now, often people might go, oh, why don't you just delete this field and add in another field called billing postcode, for example. Well, there's little things. The locate map button, for example, it's a system defined button that uses these system fields to open up Google Maps and show you where this um, location is. And there's always some little things that Zoho has on those system defined fields. And, and that's the main reason why you can't rename them. But what we can do is change the label using the translation settings. So the first thing we need to do is turn on translation settings. And then once you've turned on your translation settings, you can go down here to whatever your home language is, it will say export as file. This is because I've done it before and I'll select both, but the initial export will contain all of them. Once it starts downloading, it will produce an export down the bottom. That only takes a few seconds. Then we click download and it's just a text file. So it's gonna be really quick. It's just gonna open up in any of your text editor. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find our fields that we wanna rename. So you can rename obviously a lot of things inside the system, but we're gonna go down to fields.leads and then we're gonna find zip code. There it is. So what we're gonna do here with this one is we're just gonna rename this to be postcode and I'm going to copy it because I'm going to use it in the other areas so under accounts we've got here billing code I'm going to rename that to billing postcode and shipping postcode and the last one there where we've got is mailing zip rename that and other zip so once we've done that just click save or command s control s and close that down what we can do then now is import this exact file back in. We don't want to rename it or anything and just drag and drop it into there. Then we can click import and a little pop up there will give you an email, but it usually takes about two minutes. There we go. Our import status has been completed. Now, if we go to our lead and we click refresh, we'll notice that we now have postcode there. So if we open up the contact, we can see here now we got mailing postcode, other postcode and account also has billing postcode and shipping postcode. Hopefully that helps you rename some of those system defined fields that have been bugging you in your system and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.